Hi guys, welcome. We're on Wayfire. Let's move that to the second, the first screen. That's a little wobbly thing. It's created with the ISO that you can download now, right? AAG. That's a pre-release. So you can test the ISOs and give us feedback. It seems I need to explain, create a video because I've added something that I've been using like forever and that's called how old, right? And how old was part of my personal aliases. So the best thing to do if you have personal things is put them in a bash RC personal. So create a file and put it in there and say, okay, I'm going to have my own bash RC aliases, aliases. And I'm gonna put it in here because at the very end of Bash RC it says go and see if there is anything available in Bash RC personal. Right? If the file exists, then go get it. So anything that's in there will do the trick. So no, it's not working, right? Um, it has the reasons, of course, and everything you've learned already need to be applied. What do I mean by that? Any Linux distribution is going to put the files, is gonna update, well, not always here, but often here, when it's concerning your home directory. Things that are in here, in the etc scale, are meant to be installed if you create, for example, a new account. They say, yes, son, you can come on my computer this content will go in there in his own home slash John folder, for example, right? This is where it gets updated. So if now we're getting there, if you're going to update and everything is up to date, the specific thing that we're looking for is actually coming from three packages, depending on the shell. So rootkit is bash, and we're all talking about 240301. ZSH and FISH, all three of them, are going to write inside SCAL. So in here is the latest, newest Bash RC, and we first call it latest, and then it becomes Bash RC. And in here is the how old, control find how old. And that's the thing you need to have to apply it. So this is in the etc scale. It's not working. Eric, why is it not working? Because your current CB, uh, sorry, your current NB, nano bash RC, your current doesn't have that line. How do I get the bash RC from the etc scale to my own bash RC? Simple. Control X, copy, bash cb copy bash there are lots of aliases in here and they make it easy if you remember if you know right if you go check again inside the bash rc they're all here i don't think any of the distros have so many 430 lines almost right aliases but it it's efficient it's fast and we tend to forget but we won't forget update and it's a long line then to type or update grub is an even more or install install grub EFI is even longer, right? It's complex, but we can remember it if it's shortened, an alias. So what I've done is copy the bash. What happened? This happened. Copy each scale bash RC to the bash RC and execute bash. Meaning, how old? It's working, right? And then he says, sudo lswhw, and then you're wondering what's that for kind of thing. Sudo pacman minus, and then um, I would do a, a Q or an SI as well, maybe an SI and a Q. So information, I wanna have information. What is this about? It's a small tool to provide detailed information on the hardware configuration of the machine. Ah, yeah. It's coming from EZX org project etc and the reflex is okay so i'm missing it yes you are pseudo pacman minus s ls hw so list me the hardware right that's how i remember it ls 
hw is ls hw and it's a lot it's a lot it gives you lots of information about your machine and that's great but i'm not interested in a lot i'm just interested in how old is my machine <laughs> and this is just an, an approximation so it's not written in stone because it tends to look at the bias and if you build it in year x and you've updated the bias in year z then of course you get the year z so the last update that was available for your motherboard that will be the date but at least you got a year and you realize oh machine is already six year old ouch right almost going in retirement <laughs> anyway so I thought I'll make this video it doesn't matter on what I'm doing it it's Wayfire it could have been any of the other 45 ISO that we have but here you go that's what was missing and then at the same time realize that we have a lot of aliases to make your work easy and efficient and fast and there you go enjoy <laughs>